What is keeping this Uber? Hey, sir, are you Mr. Austin? Yeah, are you my Uber? <laughs> yes, sir. It's the same car. Is anything the problem? No, no, not at all. Okay, then hop in. Bring your things, come in. Or do you want me to start the ride while we chat? Sir, uh, where will you sit so I will know where to drop the bag? Um, I'll sit in front. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry, my boots won't open. I'm just going back from the mechanic. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I'll go to the mechanic, you know, mechanic once I drop you. Too many female Uber drivers around. Mm. It's uh, a man's job and not fit for females, right? <laughs> you sound so misogynistic. Oh wow, I <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Sorry. <laughs> Relax. I was only pulling your legs. Well, you're right. We ain't much Uber drivers in Lagos. I mean, much female Uber drivers. And that's uh, because statistics review in 2021. Proves that um, it's a quite dangerous job. Okay. If I'm not prying, may I ask why a beautiful girl like you would be doing such a job? Then? You're right. You are prying. That is a first date question. Okay. Well, can I take you on a date then? <laughs> Because you want an answer to why I am driving an Uber? No, because I think you're beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> I have a farm in the east where 
I grow livestock and cash crops. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. You're weird. Ouch. Oh, in a good way. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, there are a few people who would abandon medicine for agriculture. Very few. Well, medicine was my father's dream, not mine. And I was never too good at it anyway. Probably because it wasn't my passion, it wasn't my dream. So I gave it the barest minimum. I finished my degree and went after my passion, you know? <laughs> Which is farming. Is that so hard to believe? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, <laughs> we've been talking about me a lot. So it's time for you to tell me about yourself. Oh, that's... <sighs> well, there isn't much to tell. My life, unlike yours, is uh, one uneventful ride. I lost both of my parents uh, before I turned eight. And, um, I grew up with my uncle. I studied theatre arts uh, in the University of uh, River State University of Science and Technology, exactly. Yeah, and, and oh, that's all. An actress, huh? <laughs> If I were such a, a good actress, I wouldn't be riding Uber. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny one. <laughs> Do you want more? Uh, oh. No, I, I'm, I'm even struggling to finish this one. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Um, your majesty, no, your highness, I know that you want me to grace your bed, but I love your son. Ma, that is not your line now. Uh, we're not this audition, we can do it too. It's not your line. Right. What's, What's up, girl? Oh, goodness. Where the heck have you been? Huh? You have missed three auditions this week. Three! Three. And you know that we actually moved from Asaba to Lagos just so we can feature in Netflix and Amazon. And of course we can't do that if we don't get roles. So uh, tell me, why have you been flocking auditions? Come on girls, you don't expect me to sit at home going through this script because I want to be auditioned. Although this is my uncle's house, but I got bills to pay. Yeah. Okay, then why don't you accept Chief's proposal? Exactly. Yeah, man, you'll be fine here. Look at you. You'll be fine here. That's your Uber business. It's not for women at all. <laughs> eh, aunt? Girl, you did not go kill you. I'll steal your car one day. Mm. Eh, eh? Thank you so much for your concern. And I thank you. And I do. But you do not expect me to give in to Chief's proposal. You want me to give in to being his side chick. Chief Uber has three wives. One, two, three. <laughs> Besides, I don't even swing that way. Well, because I got a date. I got a date. I got a date. I got a date. <laughs> Babes, what's up? Food day pot. Something day. <laughs> I don't, like, I really don't get it. I mean, how can someone be so naturally beautiful and can use a gift? If you ask me, Uma, I don't know. Now come here. Here is your line. Come on, see. This is crazy. You know Teresa very well. And the way she behaves. Yeah. I just can't just figure it out. Forget her. Here's your line. Okay? Yeah. For the audition for the Netflix blockbuster and lecture. I'm not interested. Hmm? What? Wait. I said I am not interested. Come to think of it, we have been attending auditions for months now. What did we get? And you, Doris, you went as far as speaking with a producer, but you couldn't get yourself a role. I think it's high time we got ourselves 
real jobs. And not hopping from one audition center to another. Oh, shh. Oh. <laughs> hey, girl. There's something different about you. See how you're glowing. Come here. What is it? Give me gist. What happened? Spit <laughs> it out. <laughs> this shit. Who is he? And what does he do? What part of Lagos is his day? Wait, let me guess. Let me take a guess. <laughs> Chevron. Lucky. Okay, easy, easy. Just do like this. Okay, be coming down. Okay, like I'm calm. Yeah. Let's hear the gist. What part of Lagos? My boyfriend is a farmer huh? who works and lives on his father's farm in the way. Huh? 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 Please, I don't have time for this gossip. I need to go change into something else because I have a job in Saudi. Good luck with your audition. Do come in, please. Good day, sir. You're welcome to it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You look so mad at us. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Austin said you are a failed actor. Uh, um. Nollywood doesn't have an eye on beauty. If they rejected you. Uh, sir, I was getting ready for the customer service um, training. I'm sure Mr. Luwale will be waiting for me now. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, 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 yeah. Mr. Luwale told me that you were natural. <laughs> yes, sir. I was really good at arithmetic back in school. Um, it's okay. So tell me, how has life been with you since you broke up with uh, Mr. Austin? We did not break up, sir. We are still dating. Mr. Austin went back to the East because he needed to supervise his harvest season. Mm. Uh, um, it's okay. You have my mobile contacts. Whenever you feel bored, do not hesitate to give me a call. Uh, thank you, sir. I'll have to go now. I'm sure Mr. Luwale will be wondering where I went. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. That much. I used to accompany my father to the farm when he was still alive. Was a wonderful father. I'm sure he would have liked you. Of course, he will love me. I'm lovable. <laughs> I know, right? I miss you. I miss you too, babe. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it today. The pigs are sick, and the vet is coming tomorrow. I need to be there with him. I understand, dear. I do. Ah. Uh... That's something that bothers me, though it's nothing, but then... Babe, I think your friend Osita is hitting on me. He tried hitting on me at work yesterday. Really? I might have to have a talk with him about it. Like I said, it's okay. It's really nothing, though. I love you. I love you too, babe. You so much. How's it been? Yeah, that party was lit. What? I have heard of after party, but this one took the ball out of the park. Oh, man. Damn. Babe, how? Oh. So you're serious about this, your work? Yep. 
Um, hold on, not so fast. I mean, we haven't had you talk about your former boyfriend. Um, it's been long we heard you guys talking on the phone. You know, those late night calls. What happened? You're right. And tell us, when are you planning to introduce him That's right. to us? Well, soon. I mean, he was supposed to be in Lagos, but he had to travel back to the East because it's harvest season. First, he needs to harvest his crops. But I, I'm certain he'll come back soon. Oh, <laughs> oh girl, please stop playing. huh? I'm very sure that that dude is married. I mean, he just probably used you to wear his thin when he was in Lagos. But not to worry, girl. I mean, all these things happen. It, it happened to me. You know, I met this guy, Frederick, right? Nice guy with a great thing. But I miss him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, the same thing happened to me. Jeez, why is it always the broke and poverty stinking ones that cheat the most. Oh, those hungry hippos have the libido of a Spartan soldier. Listen, yeah. listen, girls, girls. Austin is not married. I mean, he's going to come back today. He, he will come back and we'll be together. And as a matter of fact, he's not broke either. I'm late for work. Okay. I have to leave now. Oh my goodness! This girl is so naive. She's even in denial. Do you know what? Man is going to eat that like a bacha like. I didn't see you at my wife's uh, birthday party. What happened? Oh, that. I'm sorry something came up that Saturday, so I couldn't make it. My sincere apologies. Um, it's okay. Um, your man, Austin, has he flown in since then? <sighs> no, he hasn't. Some of his animals are sick, so he's taking care of them. Some of his animals are sick and he's taking care of them. And you believed him. Excuse me. Can you just throw this sour of a thing and uh, concentrate on the fact? For how long should a beautiful dancer, a pretty lady like you, continue waiting for someone that is not coming? Uh, uh, yes, yes, exactly. Listen, let me tell you, you shouldn't be wasting your beauty waiting for someone that is not coming. Isn't it crystal clear that Austin is done with you and he's not coming back for you? Listen, in this our thing, run it with me and I will make sure that you go to a position like a higher position that even you yourself she will not believe that you can be in such position within your few weeks provided you can allow me like you know a beautiful girl like you shouldn't be wasted how would you how do you do that
life is a big luggage of crap. You never can tell what will happen next or who will disappoint you. I slapped Osita and left the establishment not to return again. I called Austin all through, but he wouldn't make my calls. He wouldn't make no response to the voice note I sent on WhatsApp. Oh God, I was lonely, broken and sad. Broken and sad. I was hoping he would return my calls, at least to tell me he's at the airport and can't wait to be with me. But then, I was mistaken. Teresa, tell me that you're lying. Why would I lie over such a sensitive issue like this? Listen, this man touched my boobs and promised to give me a rise if only I let him in. <laughs> Just imagine my dignity for some more slave labor. But well, I'm not crazy. Ah! What? I just goggled Mr. Osita. Babe, hey, this dude net worth is in the eight probably now, nine zeros. And you said no to him so you can come back to your Uba job? Girl, are you crazy? Why are you even asking this girl if she's crazy? I mean, do you need the confirmation to know that she, this, this girl is mentally messed up? Please, I beg you. I don't have time for this. I need to go to work. Huh? I have a client to attend. Ah, of course, go. Just go to your poor job. Uh, there is dignity in labor. Oh! Yeah? Hello? Yeah, this is your right uh. I'm three minutes away from you. Oh, my. Okay. Are you serious? Oh, oh my God. No baby now. No to Oh God, beg. No, they beg me. Come on, bend down. No, never. You never do one. Now you grow like this, you know what I go teach you. I go teach you. Ma, drop my knife, I go. Oh, you're done. I'm going to beg you. 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 I want her. I want this girl. I know, right? And because of our missing good auditions. You're just lucky that I love you and you didn't die. Huh? Die? Because I would have killed her myself. Huh. 
um, thank you both for coming so soon. Um, she was brought in here by one good Samaritan who helped by paying her bills. Uh, she'll get better soon. Doctor, but she'll be alright. Sure, sure, she will. Doc, I don't see a ring on your finger. Are you married? <laughs> uh, actually, I have a girlfriend. Thank you for asking. Um, do take good care of your family. told Chief that if he doesn't help me to get the role in the next blockbuster featuring Toby, I am never going to show him my nakedness again. He will never see my nakedness. I've Simple. told you. But Omar, do you think because we are bad actress, that is why we have not landed roles for ourselves without the help of Chief and his friends? How can you say that? You know that it's the same tree of thoughts that landed Teresa in the, in the hospital. Now she has to bribe the police to take out her car as an evidence. And you know that she has wound all over her body, her leg, her back, her shoulders, everywhere. And I'm afraid that if she dies, we are not going to have an open funeral for her. Huh? Never. Girl, you're right. Yes, so you're right. But I doubt if she's going to make it out of that coma. Are you expecting anyone? No. Are you? No. Go get the dog. <gasps> Do you really said go get it? Don't you expect so much? Oh, cheat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you wrong? <laughs> I'm coming. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, my name is Austin. I'm here to see Teresa. Oh. I, I hope I don't have the wrong address. No, you don't. Come in. Thank you. She told me she lives here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I saw a very terrible news. Uh, and I felt like there can't be too many female Uber drivers in Lagos. So uh, I've been trying to call her, but she's not taking my calls. I decided to come check up on her. Yes, but how come it took you two weeks to get the news? I'm, I'm sorry. I... Did I <laughs> T, okay. there is a guy here to see you. He says his name is Austin. Eh? Austin? Please let him come inside. Tell him to come inside. I'm serious. Tell him to come. He came all the way from the to see me. Let him come. Okay. Madam, how are you doing today? I feel better. Oh, thank God for that. Um, Madam, you need to avoid much thinking, anything that will put you, that will make, that will make your beef need to rise, okay? You need to eat a lot of fruits, okay? Okay, doctor, thank you very much, thank you. Okay, take good care of yourself. Um. Thank you. What? Teresa, marriage. Okay. Hey. Hey, babe, let me take this to the car. Please do. Okay, okay here's the key. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I know. Okay. okay. Be careful. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Like, when did he even propose? A farmer. Like, farmer. 
he, he owns a poultry. Poultry, oh, it's the same thing. Uh-uh. He's not still too young. A farmer. Girl, I can't believe you turned down cheap proposal because of me. Ah. But I have said this thing before. Mm. Girl. Chief has three wives. So, so what? I can't get married to him. Besides, don't I have the right to choose or, or decide how my life goes? Babe, yeah. this one's uh, handle is bad. Obviously. Yeah. Anyway, are you done? Almost ready. Uh, all right. This is the last bag. Okay. I'm taking it to the car and I'll bring the wheelchair. Please do. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I can't get married to Chief. Why? Like I said, he has three wives. Maybe I have the right to decide how my life goes. I do. Okay. I see that your mind is speed up already. Yeah. And whatever that makes you happy. That's what you should say and stop you trying and I'm not to in support of it. Oh, please. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, darling. Miss you. <laughs> I'll miss you too. Don't just say that and stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> but don't worry. By month end, we are flying down. That's right. No problem. I We might even pay your ticket. <laughs> oh. Not immediately, please. Ah, you would have allowed me to finish. You're a good person. Good evening, Meiji. What are you doing here? I came to work on the back there. Where are your parents? They are the farm. I didn't tell anyone I was coming back. Open the gate for me, let me drive in. Sweet grass, we often forget. Our hearts entwined, no room for regret. But beware the path where passion blinds. For natural choices, the heart unwind. An eye for an eye, a soul for a soul. What's going on? Please take me inside. In the name of love, we may stray. From nature's course, we may lose our way. A warning to heed. A lesson from above. In love essence, do not forget what's natural, my dude. For if the sun sets on your rocks, your feet is sealed. Take me inside! Babe! Hey! Babe! 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 What's going on here? Neji, what are you doing? I, I, I'm trying to bring her in for you. Did I ask you to do that? No, sir. Please go back to the farm and help the others. Okay, Leave here now! How did she know my name? Baby, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, her parents helped me at the farm and she's always with them. And for some time now, she's been very unwell. Please step inside. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I... Okay, follow you. Follow you. Come on, go inside. No, no. Come on, follow you. Okay, 
baby. No 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 baby. Now you grow like this, don't worry, I go teach you. I go teach you. Ma, drop my knife, I go. Oh, yeah, don't. Oh, God, I beg you. I will give you a donkey. I will give you a donkey. Oh, yeah, don't, man. Face that side. Like this. Ah! 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 It's a dream. It's, it's a dream. It's just a dream, baby. Calm down. It's just a dream. No, not again. Honey, honey, no, no, no. Don't, don't cry. Don't, don't cry, babe. Don't cry. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Babe. My love, calm down. Remember what the doctor said. You need to give yourself time to heal. You'll be all right. Babe, are you sure you really want to do this? Do what? Settle down with damaged goods. Hey, don't you ever call my fiancé damaged goods. I won't take it lightly. My love, you're not damaged goods. You're a superwoman. All thanks to you. The police caught that allergy. And now, the family of the victims can have closure. You're a hero, okay? What would I have done without you? You would have survived. Just give yourself time to heal. You'll be okay. Look, even if we have to go to a grief counselor as soon as you can walk, we can do that. For now, just Take it easy, please. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I love you, babe. Thank I love you. you too. Let's go back to bed. I decided to just come and see the beautiful lady that captured this hat. Uh, and honestly, I'm impressed. Ah, Neymaka. Uh, <laughs> just so beautiful. You have eyes for good things. Right? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dida. Thank you so much. You're thank welcome. You. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I hope you are planning to quicken the wedding. I mean, the, uh, what are we waiting for? Honestly, I can't wait to carry your children. Like. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting. Like. Dida, Dida, calm down. Don't worry. As soon as she gets better. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. She will soon get better. You will soon be fine. Okay. Um, I have to start going now. I just came to see your wife uh, to be. Uh, and honestly, I'm I'm impressed. We thought you were going to spend the night. Dina, you know, please. Um, yeah. Some other time. Yes, don't worry. Next time I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. It's a promise. But for now, oh. I have to go. Uh, um, uh, yeah.
can do this. You can do this. Okay. Actually making good progress. Yes, you're good. You're making good progress. Yes. Oh wow, good to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. You'll be fine. I'm happy I am. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? Can I open your mouth and speak? Mr. <laughs> Teresa, I'm sincerely sorry for holding your hand the other day. Ah. Uh, Please forgive me. Yes. <laughs> okay she is truly sorry so so sorry listen i promise she will never do it again never in fact she will never cross your path again it's uh, a promise it's fine it's, it's okay i'm all right mm -hmm. okay yeah and then um, we're actually planning to take her to a prayer house <laughs> you know she needs deliverance yeah miss teresa yes darling i am sincerely sorry she is i promise not to bother you or your baby again <laughs> My baby. Um, sorry, don't, don't mind that. So sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Uh -huh. Do I look bad? So on my way back, I decided to stop by at the lab to pick up your test results. And something the scientist said made me very curious. So I'm sorry, I opened it. And um, I'm pregnant. We are pregnant, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're pregnant. Mm. Oh my God, babe. I'm the happiest man in the world right now. <laughs> How did she get to know? Meiji. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we got your back two four seven. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, girls. When are you thinking of settling down? What do you mean? You know you're not getting any longer. And 
besides, you can't keep thinking Chief and his friends will keep helping you. We left us about for Lagos two years ago. Till this minute, they've not given me a gig for any blockbuster. Think now. Excuse you. What is the meaning of this condensation? Oh, so because you found yourself some loose farm boy that you lashed onto. So we are now losers, right? Uh, babe, babe, calm down, calm down. You know that's not what I mean. Listen, you're not getting any younger. Besides, uh, there's no guarantee to this. It is dangerous. It's really dangerous. Damn you, Teresa. I'm out of here. Uh, hey, jeez. I don't know. Why is she panicking? Listen, listen to me, Teresa. That was not a cool thing to say to the only friend that you've ever had in this world. Babe. Excuse me, what about? Um, no, no. Babe, I'm Doris. Hold on, please. Babe, babe. Oh, my. Doris, Doris. Please, Doris. Doris, please, Doris. Babe. Oh, my. Babe. 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 I didn't mean. Just okay, baby. I was only trying to. Stop now! Sorry, baby, sorry, sorry, you know what? Oh god, the baby got scared. It's okay, baby. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Mama is fine until you come back, okay? Until... It's okay. Sorry, baby. Until Mama is coming. Oh. Hi, love. Oh, Mama. Oh. Okay, why is your face like this? I was just trying to advise my friend Omar. He took it to heart and left. I was just being a good friend. It's okay. Come, let's go inside. I'm so sorry. I heard what happened. What happened? What is it? You haven't heard? No, I haven't. My phone is inside. Baby, oh. Baby, what is it? <sighs> so lonely. She left me in this world. Just me. What am I supposed to do without her now? What? I mean, Lord. <laughs> Teresa, could you be so selfish? How oh, could you? Um, put yourself together. Don't say that. You are not alone, Omar. I'm with you, okay? It's with you. But you're married. You're married. I don't know what else to do. Everything in that house just reminds me of her. Okay. I just can't. Just put yourself together. Put yourself together. I miss her as a person, not a dude or whatever. You know she was my friend. I miss her so much. Just put yourself together, please. Teresa, this is not about you. This is not about you. This is about my friend. I just lost my friend. My friend just died. She just left me in this horrible world. What am I supposed to do without her? What? What am I supposed to do without her? What am I supposed to do without her? Tell me what. Please, 
she's there with us until after the burial. Just look at her, she's broken. She looks like a shadow of herself. Please. Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? You know how she gets on your nerves sometimes. I know, but I'll be fine, I promise. I'll manage. I can't let her go home and be by herself. It's fine. Put yourself together. Put yourself together. Listen, you'll be staying with us until after the burial. Okay? Yes. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I understand you can't stay alone. You can't even stand being in that house without her. So just move in, okay? <laughs> yourself together, <laughs> Omar, please. <laughs> want to kill me? Oh, come on. <sighs> you start on me. How can I kill the reason for my existence? Right? <laughs> mm, don't start me, babe. Why not? It seems you don't want to go to work today. Mm. You don't want to go to the farm, right? Oh, well, you're right. I have to. <laughs> Why are you sweeping? I thought we paid in Jokos to do this. Oh, yeah, we did. But I haven't seen them here in two days. Two yeah. days? Mm-hmm. You know, they haven't been to the farm as well. Really? Perhaps it has something to do with your daughter. <laughs> that crazy one. <laughs> hey, I don't think you're allowed to call anyone that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know I'm crazy about you. Baby, you have to go to work. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me walk you to the car. That's okay. Ah, so, come over here. Why are you cleaning it? Let the world see. Right? There. <laughs> Let them know I have a beautiful woman at home. Right, so cool. One of them something about um, wanting to have a word with me. Yes, Auntie. Auntie, you see, when I was sick, I figured out you are the one I freak out the most. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. Now that I'm better, I decided to come and apologize for that. Mm -hmm. Though my parents asked me to come sleep your compound. Mm -hmm. You see, that's okay. I understand, okay? And about sweeping my compound is unfortunate it has been swept already. Oh. Perhaps tomorrow you come. All right, Auntie. Speaking of which, you said something about being sick. Yeah. What is the diagnosis? <laughs> okay, um, it was spiritual. Oh. Yeah, the pastor said I have some divination spirit or something like that. It allows me to see the future, though it has been casted out before I now. I've even gone back to the university. Wow, that's good news. Congrats. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you, Auntie. Oh. You see, Auntie, please. I'm so sorry for all those crazy things I said. Like you getting married, getting pregnant, or even your husband dying. Ah, oh, thank God I was wrong. Hold on. I remember you said something about me getting married and having a baby. Yeah. Of course it happened. But you never mentioned my husband dying. Oh, oh I see. I beg to take my leave. Take care of yourself. My oh gosh. Jesus. Baby, you're awake. 
Why? I went to check on Amaka. Why are you awake? I suspected when I woke up and didn't see you. Honey. You look worried. Are you okay? Are you sick? Are you okay? Of course, I'm fine. Why? Perhaps it's nothing. Okay. Then you should stop worrying about nothing. Let's go to bed. Remember, we have to go to the bank first thing tomorrow morning to open a trust fund for Maka. Yeah, that's true. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Nurse, please, please, how is my husband doing? He is doing better. Oh. Thank God the injury wasn't severe and you brought in him here on time. Oh, uh, can I go and see him? Sure, go oh, he's resting. No problem, I'll just be at the balcony. Okay, thank you. in front of a bullet for me. <coughs> easy, easy. Just take it easy. Relax, okay? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Relax. Relax. Mm. Relax. It's okay. Sorry. Just relax, right? Yeah. It's okay. You'll be fine. Why? Why would you do that? My love. This life would not be worth living without you in it. I love you to the moon and back, Teresa. I love you beyond the stars, Austin. I really do. God, I'm so happy. Right. Should I call the nurse? Mm -hmm. Okay, just, just relax. <coughs> no, baby, baby, just oh. relax, okay? Relax. I'm here, all right? I'm here for you. I'm never leaving your sight, all right? I'm never leaving your sight. I'm not. Okay. okay. this in your car while washing it. Who owns it? It's yours, I believe. Of course it's not. It's not mine. I remember I used to have something like this, but then Doris borrowed it before she died. How did it get into your car? I'm not having this argument with you. <laughs> Babe, two days ago, you returned to this house smelling of rosemary perfume. This is a female perfume. And today, a necklace in your car. Austin, are you cheating on me? Cheating on you? Yeah. Are you cheating? Oh my goodness. I'm not having this fight with you. Can you, can you just tell me who has this? Babe! Austin! It looks like mine. <laughs> Two days ago was a female perfume, and now a necklace. Where are you off to? <laughs> Babe. Oh. Hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Daddy is coming. Daddy is coming. Daddy is coming. He's coming. Sorry. Why am I feeling cold? Huh. Why 
these goosebumps on my body. I feel so cold. Oh, I see goosebumps on my body. Yes, who's this? What? Where? <gasps> okay, okay. All right, all right. Babe, 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 babe,
Babe, babe, I'm sorry. Babe! Babe, I miss you, I miss him. Just don't like he's so empty, I feel so empty. Where's my husband? Tell me it's a lie. Tell me it's a lie. Can you calm down, please? Teresa, listen to me. I'm afraid I don't have good news for you. Tell me my husband is okay. Tell me my husband is still alive. You calm down, please. The doctor just confirmed your husband dead. You can still do something about it. Please let me down. You just told me my husband is lying down there. Then you tell me what will I do? What do I do? You have to go to Benin. Do I be advised to go to Benin? At this point, oh. I'm trying to help you here. You want your husband to be back to life, right? Then you have to go to Benin. You have to go meet a lady called Iago. She will tell you what to do. And whatever happens then, it all depends on you. Mama, please, 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 please. This is an expensive joke. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you're joking. Just... No, I'm not joking. Are you trying to say there is a way to bring my husband back to life? Exactly my point. I beg you in the name of God, please, 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 please. You don't have to make me feel fine. You don't have to make me feel fine. How is that even possible? I should go to Benin. Thank you. Please. Tell Dida. My, my, my baby is with Dida. Just watch out for my baby. I have to go. And don't let them take him to the mortuary. They should take him home. Take him back to the house. Take him back to the house. Excuse me, excuse me, ma. Excuse, excuse me, ma. Excuse me. Good day. Good day. Uh, please, I'm looking for Mama Yabo on the light street. Mm. Yes. Mama mm. Yabo. Yes, Mama Yabo. On the light street. The light street is straight down, like this, like by your left. Le le left or, or right? Right, right. Okay, yes. 
All right, thank you very much. So, the same way I came through. Yes, just go straight. By your right, the first or second street? The first street. All right, thank you. Now, thank you, person, go show. Daughter, I know why you are here. Wise one, can it be done? Please. Yes, it can. But you have to exert the troll of the soul to the caster. Wise one, what do I do? How do we go about it? Since we are done with the fine prints, let's get into the miscellaneous. Uh, wise one, what are the needed things? What do I do? You have a whole lot of ingredients. A whole lot of ingredients to cast the spell. And you have to do it yourself. Firstly, unconditional love. You have to love the diseased unconditionally. To balance nature requires a fair exchange. A shrew from a dying infant. A bone from a spineless animal. A his from an African spotted python. And 13 more other items. Please, wise one. Where do we get these items? You have to pay 7 million naira. And the items will be sorted out for you immediately. Oh, whatever the amount, I'll pay. I'll pay. I promise. Are you sure you can do this? Yes, wise one. I will do whatever it takes. There is no life without Austin. Without Austin, my life is so empty. Please help me. Anything, I'll do it. <laughs> Those who played with the balance of nature often get bargained. Austin, I love you so much. God, please forgive me. I have to do this. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A life for a life. The balance of truth. Take what you will, but in kind you must share. For the will of justice is only fair. Give back what is taken. The debt must be paid. That was so intense. I, I don't remember it being so intense ever. <laughs> Any right? I don't either. You are such a tiger. Come <sighs> on. <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> oh, God, I missed you. Oh. Babe, mm -hmm. I was declared clinically dead for over 24 hours, yet here I am, alive, and I've never felt so well, so strong, so fit. Uh, you know the doctor said something about it being um, a Lazarus syndrome. Well, whatever it is. I'm just so happy to be alive and here with you. I'm happy to be there. Missed you. Baby, hold on. <laughs> God, I'm tired. <laughs> Don't forget, we have to see Father Jose for the Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll, I'll call him. Right. I'll call him and set up mm -hmm. the meeting. What 
what's this? Did what? something caught you? Of course not. I'm sure it was from you. You were tight with me, remember? Maybe your finger. Oh, mm -hmm. that's true. <laughs> <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm fine, baby. Let me go check on Amaka. Is she still in that court? Linda, is it just me? Oh, it feels like it wants to rain. Mm. <sighs> I am so hungry. What are we going to eat this night? Hmm? Teresa. Teresa! What is it? Which one is that? What is it? It's too late, you know. <laughs> what is too late? I told you I have divination abilities. I have decided to embrace it. Miss Teresa, I can see your future. I can see your past. I know what you did, and I know what is coming for you. I've been trying to come here, but my parents bundled me to some church. I just came back this morning, so I decided to come see you. <laughs> Neji, tell me, what does it look like? My future, I mean. You will die in 30 hours, in the most brutal way possible. An eye for an eye, a soul for a soul, an air for an air, and a life for a life. I had to do it. I did it because I loved him. I, I love him. I understand. But was it worth it? Yeah. I would like to think it was worth it. And that is because if he was in my position, I believe he would do the same. <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> you need water? <sighs> Miss Teresa, I am pain. I don't need water. I find it really difficult to swallow anything, even my saliva. <sighs> I usually have this memory flash that I'm sure isn't mine. You, you can't imagine the amount of pain I'm in. My whole body aches. <coughs> Actually, I can't. It feels like it both hits you, right? Yes. How did you know? When you brought him back from the dead, you switched fate with him. You are witnessing his last moment. Even memories. When people are at the point of their death, their lives flashes before their own eyes. Usually the things they regret most before their death. You are experiencing everything he felt before he died. At least his own was fast. Yours will be slow and excruciatingly painful. Legend. So the memory flashes are in mine, they are his. You mean Austin was cheating on me with my best friend Oma? Oma! Doris borrowed this necklace before she died. <laughs> and somehow I found it in my husband's car. <sighs> it now makes sense to me. So, Omar dropped it in Austin's car. Ah! <sighs> Teresa, you've been a fool. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so sorry, Miss Teresa. But it's too late now. Imagine I didn't know that the price I had to pay for bringing him back to life is my own life. I need to see the priestess. I just have to see her again. You can try. But I know that there's nothing that can be done. I am sorry. You just have to go. Please just accompany me. I beg you. Let's go. Let's see her. Let's see her. I beg you. Let's <laughs> see Ah! Thank you so much. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being such a good person. Thank you. It's okay. I pray it works out. So let us go. Ah! Why is one? Why is one? I can't come in. It's as if something is pulling me back. Only the living are allowed to enter. The dead and those in limbo are not allowed. Well, wise one, you didn't tell me I would have to die for him to live. I warned you. I warned you about the exile throw of the soul to the caster. I warned you about the forbidden spell, which says, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a life for a life. The balance of truth takes what you will, but in kind, you must share. To the will of justice, it's only fair. Give back what is taken, the debt must be paid. In this comic dance, it's weird. Wise one, I didn't know. I thought the price I had to pay was just money. I, I didn't know. The price was unconditional love. You were willing to die for love. If you weren't, it wouldn't have worked. Go home and take care of your home. Wise one, please. Please, please help me. Help me, wise one. Help me. Help me. you say destroy your home? <gasps> no. Teresa, you did that all by yourself. <gasps> yes! <sighs> but you look so terrible. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Stop acting like you care! <gasps> oh, what did I even do to you? Look at me. What did I do? <gasps> huh? No, what did I do? Weren't you the one that was pushing me to go settle down? Were you not? Oh, what were you thinking? You ruined my life. You killed someone that the only person, the only friend that I had that ever understood me. You killed her. Oh. I can never forgive you for that. Never. Oh, oh my, you know I never meant evil for Doris. You know I loved her. I loved you like a sister. All I did was just to show genuine care. I just wanted you both to settle down and have a stable man, a stable home. How did I even go wrong with that? <laughs> Look at her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> a genuine home? A genuine man? Oh, like yours, I guess. My dear, your husband spent the night with me. 
Yes. Why, why did you do this, Soma? Mama, I trusted you. I trusted you like a sister, Oma. Why? Why did you do what you did? Why are you still asking me such a dumb question? Huh? You took the person that ever understood me in this life. And I took the person that you ever loved. See for me. <coughs> what the hell? Oh, my God, monster. <coughs> <laughs> Mama, you paid me. Mama, you knew I was going to attend something like this. Yet you suggested it and made it seem like it was my thought. Mama, why? Ah. Teresa. <coughs> Teresa, your husband was better for me alive than you. I think it's better you die. You can actually blame a girl for, for, for trying to look up for herself. You see this car? This beautiful house. Your husband got it for me. Just so you won't find out. I told you I had a surprise for you. Yes. <laughs> this is it. This is your house. I bought this for you. What? <laughs> yes. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. My house? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> it's okay. Let's go inside. This is beautiful. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> Tell me you're joking. No, I'm not. Sorry, the gate is locked. Let me call the security. Are you supposed to be here? I told him I was coming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. This is beautiful. This is paradise. Right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just like I love you. <laughs> 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 How could you be so wicked? I will tell him, yes. Unless if you're planning to kill me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this clown. What did you see? You will tell him. <laughs> of course not. Because even if you try, he's not going to believe you. Now, take this. This, this, this disgusting, rotting corpse and get out of my house this minute. I said, get out! Mama. Teresa, what's, what's, what's all this? What's all this drama for? Mama, God, we judge you. I thought you. you wanted me to settle down. Huh? Mama, God, I said we judge you. But I did. Ah. And I choose your husband. So get the hell out of my house this minute. Don't you stand my car. Get your rotting hands out of my out, out of my car. You dead oh, Mama. Shush. I know your fate. <laughs> you would wish you weren't born. <laughs> oh, please, I'm shivering. Get out of my house, you idiot. Disgusting thing. Mama! I said, get out. Mama! Mama, God, we judge I'm you. I'm judging you. <laughs> I said, don't you touch my car. Oh, no. Scrap. Get out. Don't you too. Don't you too. I thought you wanted me to settle. I love you as a sister. Oh, you did? Mama, you are my sister. Mama, I never loved you. Get out! Ah. Settle down. Down. So what's the problem? And I chose your husband. Hold on. 
my God! Austin! Austin! God, I'm so cold. What happened to you? Why, why are you like this? Austin, I have a question to ask you. My love, what, what happened to you? Why are you like this? Please. Let's take her to the hospital. No, the hospital will not help her. Why? Let's take she, she needs help. I think you need to hear her out. <laughs> Austin. My love, please tell me what's going on. Why, why are you like this? What happened to you? What I have this? a question for you, Austin. Did you ever love me? Of course, my love. I, I, I love you. I love you. Please talk to me. Then why did you hurt me? Why? Why? How did I hurt you? Please don't tell me I had anything. Did I do this? How? What happened? You, you... Austin, I know about you and Oma. How could you? Baby, how could you? How could you hurt me so badly? Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I went out to drink with my friends, and when I came back, I was drunk. But when I got back, you were sleeping, and Amaka was crying. So I went to the kitchen to get her milk, and I met Oma in the kitchen. It was a moment of weakness, what happened? I didn't know she recorded us, and she used it to blackmail me. I never meant to hurt you, baby, please. Austin, you love me, yet your love for me couldn't withstand her seduction. Austin, why? Should I tell you the painful truth? If I were to live this life again, I would still sacrifice mine for yours. I would still do what I did, and that is because I. Austin, I love you unconditionally. I loved you. I love you. I love, I love you too. Please tell me what I can do to fix this. We can fix this. Please. There is nothing you can do. No, don't say that. Don't say there is nothing I can do. Something must be done. Why? Why is this happening to her? I don't understand it. Please explain it to me. <coughs> No, 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 Teresa, Teresa, please, no, 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 Wait, 
take heart, my dear. Please. But this is so strange. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I know, Dida. It is. How am I going to survive without her now? Don't worry. You'll be all right. Time heals all wounds. I don't know. I hurt her so much. Did I, I feel responsible for everything. Grief makes us feel so bad. But you have to be strong. If not for anything, but at least for your daughter. I never knew she was this popular because people came from afar just for her sake. They all came to see if there would be another resurrection. I mean, word of what she did after I died has gone all over the place. What the hell is going on? Tell me what happened. You cheated on your wife, Mr. Austin. And she's dead. That's what is going on. I already know my wrongs, okay? But that doesn't explain why the autopsy makes it look as if my wife has been dead for months when she only died that afternoon. So tell me, where did you see her? Which car hit her that day? It wasn't her that the car hit initially. It wasn't her that died initially. It was that she couldn't leave any word without you because she believed you loved her. I love her. I love my wife, okay? So why don't you tell me, what did she do? Tell me what she did. Who took her there? Your psychic convinced your wife to go to a woman in Benin, Iyabo on the life street. Your side, she couldn't afford her lifestyle without you. So she subconsciously convinced your wife to go against nature to bring you back. Why would she do that? Why would Ceci do a thing like that? Why? For some reasons best known to her. She thought to be worth it, like I told your wife. Just as some things that are lost need to remain lost. Some things that are dead need to remain dead. I will say sorry for your loss. But I want you to bear this in mind. You brought this upon yourself and your family. Hello, boyfriend. Don't you Hello. touch me. Well, well, sorry I couldn't make it to the funeral. I had an audition, but I got the role, though. That's not a problem. I didn't want you there anyways. I'm giving you two weeks to pack out of the house and drop the key, the key to the house and the key for this car with the security people. What? But this is my car and my house. What are you talking about? Why do you expect me to go to work? No, what it's I not. I bought the house in my daughter's name. Oh, come on. Don't act ignorant. I'm sure you figured that out already. Yes, you did. You knew that if I was officially buried, the lawyers would have to repossess the property for my daughter. That's why you convinced Teresa to bring me back to life, knowing fully well what the price for the resurrection was. You knew it was her life 
for mine. And you knew she loved me enough to exchange her life for mine. I'm sorry, but I, 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 I can't leave this house. Where do you, where do you expect me to go to? This is, this is my car. You can't do this. I should me. even do more to you. But I'll leave you to karma. You're going to suffer for your wickedness, just like I'm suffering for my foolishness. Two weeks. Move out and drop the key with the security. And don't even think about leaving with the car. No. No, no. First thing... Yeah, come on, don't touch me. You can't do this to me. No! Sent for me. Are you okay? I have to make this right. So why am I here? I want you to take me to the priestess. Are you sure this is what they say would have wanted? It's what I have to do. Thank you. 